Getting the word out about black owned restaurants in greater Cincinnati, a black restaurant week kicks off on Monday and joining me this morning, we got Jarvis and Jay. Good morning, guys. Good, Good morning. morning. Okay, so Jarvis, let's talk to you because you're affiliated with this. So tell us exactly what this is, why it's important and uh, how people can get involved. Yeah, so this is Cincinnati Black Restaurant Week, November 18th through the 24th. And it's really simple. We are promoting black owned restaurants and eateries in the Cincinnati neighborhood. It's um, a week long and basically you go to a restaurant, you support them, you eat at them and you get full. It's really easy. Absolutely. And you know, there are so many incredible organizations here, Mortar, who, who are really trying to get black business owners to uh, start their own businesses, thrive in this community. Why is it so important? Well, this is really about promoting and um, encouraging and empowering the black community. Uh, we want to put money in the black community. We want to build their businesses so they can be more self-sufficient and be there for uh, their families and generations to come. Jay, here's looking at you, man. Yeah, definitely. Well, like Jarvis said, um, food and beverage is the easiest industry to get into. Yes. You can literally go to the store, grab a pack of bologna and bread, and you can be selling sandwiches in yeah. 15 minutes. <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, so it's, uh, <laughs> so it's one of those things, and that's actually an industry that's been important for the black um, environment, the black culture. So basically, when we did Cincy Soul, because Cincy yeah. Soul and Urban League uh, came together to do Black right Restaurant before, Week. Yeah. So basically, we're just here just to, like, it's, like she said, promote the, the black businesses, let people know that they're there. Um, go what to your you got? Uh, so I actually have a couple of, so I'm affiliated with Conscious Kitchen, uh, Mango, Conscious Kitchen. Mangoes Tropical Oasis in Fairfield, and then Copa uh, down on uh, Sycamore. Okay, now I'm like slightly fangirling because we didn't talk about exactly what restaurant you're a part of. Conscious Kitchen is amazing at, you know, really, really great food that's well thought out but also healthy. Um, so talk a little bit about why it's important for you to be a part of this. Well, actually, so everybody to be a part of this, I really just felt like this is, was needed. Um, in Cincinnati, there's, there's a lot of things in Cincinnati. I love Cincinnati, but in order for Cincinnati to grow, we need diversity and we need to be able to promote diversity. So in order for us to have these black owned businesses get the light that traditional res restaurants normally get, that's why we have to create situations like this. So this is the reason why we did it. Um, so <clears throat> this week, um, what is it? The 18th to the 24th, 18th, yeah. uh, there's 24 participating restaurants. Um, you can go on the Urban League website, you can go on Cincy Soul, The Black Taste, on Facebook, you can go to CincyBWR.com uh, and just find out the information as far as what's going on for this week. Come out, support the restaurants, get some great food, and initially we put this, we picked this date because it's the week before Thanksgiving. Yeah. So normally the restaurant industry is a little slower for Thanksgiving because everyone's cooking at home. Oh, for sure. And then by that, that following week, rent's due. Yes. So this is an ideal time to come out and support these restaurants. Yes. Make sure everybody can make their rent. I love it. Jay and Jarvis, thank you both so much for coming. Thank Appreciate you for it. having us. Yes, okay, Black Restaurant Week, gonna run Monday, November 18th through Sunday the 24th. There are at least 24 restaurants participating and you can find out more information by going to ULYPGS. So.com.